Bless. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you this evening? How do you feel? How are you doing? I'm feeling great. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Good? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy to see you again. Thank you for Thank you. joining me. Okay, welcome. Let's start another lesson, okay? Um, tonight, we're going to learn about asking for favors, how to do that, and how to conjugate it to sound light. Let's begin. Let's see. Um, Patricia Flamenco. Go ahead, read the objective, please. Lesson 1.7, object. Participants will practice making requests using models can call world and world you mean. Must put your mind. Plus, your Plus Jared's. Very good. Okay. Jared's. So, let's see how we're going to form that. Please take your notebooks out and write down the conjugations, okay? So you have those ready. Take the notebooks, let's take notes, and we're going to watch right now. Let me see. This is the one. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind? Plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off, to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure, model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to explain it here separately. So which is the most polite way to ask a favor, guys? Which is the most polite one? I think the most polite is the... And? With the please in the, in the end. With please in the end. Yes, but out of all of these expressions, can, could, would, and would you mind, which is the most formal one or the most polite one? Could, could you, please, would, would you. Would you um, actually, it's this one, guys. It's would you mind. This is the most polite one. So we're gonna go from uh, the least polite one to the most polite one, okay? Okay. The difference is that the conjugation here changes, okay? 
Um, notice how we are going to do this. Let me type it. You're going to pay attention to the person you're talking to. And you're going to pay attention to the favor you're asking for. Or the favor. Okay. For example, <laughs> imagine that I'm trying to ask a, uh, let me see, a stranger. Try to ask a stranger to um, to lend me a pen. What form do you think I should use? Can you? Could you? Would you? Or would you mind? What do you think? Would you mind? Would you mind? Maybe. Yes, Could you, you mind? Stranger. It's a stranger. Yeah, or maybe. Is could you mind? Yeah, it's it's also not a big favor, right? It's not a big deal. So maybe it depends, guys. This is a personal choice. Can you can you lend me? No, that's too informal for a stranger. Okay, maybe would you mind? Would you please? Mm. Lend me a pen, lend but not like, pen. Would you mind lending mm -hmm. me a pen, please? No, right? It's not a big deal either. So it's up to you. It's a personal thing. Okay. What if you're asking your best friend to stay in their house for 10 days? What would you say? It's your best friend anyway. Okay. Uh, it's my, if it's my best friend, can, can you? So you would say, no, not can you, can I, can I stay in your house? It depends on you guys. So if it's like a light favor for you, well, go ahead. But maybe other people would say, hey, would you mind letting me stay in your house for 10 days? Even if it's your best friend, because it's a big favor, right? Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. So you wouldn't be like, I'm a poker on to cast. No, all right, that's too light. That would be like, okay. hey, would you mind or letting me stay in your house for 10 days? Yeah, it depends on how comfortable you are with the other person too. Okay, so uh, what's important to highlight here is the conjugation. All right, give me one second. Here, uh -huh. Okay, so we said can could and would, we're going to conjugate this with the base form. So that means you're not going to change the, the verb, okay, the verb base form of the verb. And the exception is with would you mind, would you mind, how are you going to conjugate the verb, guys? Gerund. With a gerund. gerund, meaning ing, all right? Let's write some examples. Can somebody uh, give me an example of a favor using can? Examples, an example with can. Can you turn the light off, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Can you turn off the light? Hey, can you turn off the light or please? Very good. Uh, I need an example with could. Help me out. Hmm? Example with could, guys. Could you build me some water? <laughs> that sounds like me. Hey, can you bring me some water, please? Could you bring me some water? Okay, that works. I need an example with wood. Okay. Example with wood, guys. I could say, for example, could you lend me, could you lend me 20 bucks, $20. Okay. Hey, would you lend me $20? All right, that's one. And finally, Somebody give me an example you think would you mind? Go ahead. <clears throat> I'm putting your 
What is your objective? Hey, you guys are using phrase helpers. That's okay, but you don't need to use them. You can use any word. Would you mind, maybe, right? Imagine, hey, would you mind taking your shoes off? That's like a strange request. So you would be like, um, sorry, but would you mind taking your shoes off? This would happen in the United States, right? Or in Asia, I think it's customary to do this. You're not gonna be like, hey, can you take your shoes off now, right? Would you mind? It's more polite. Teacher, it's correct. Hey. Go ahead. Would you, take, would you take the exam today? No, because that's not a favor. I don't think a teacher would be, would say like optionally, right? Hey, would you take it? No, right? No, it's like, will you take it? That's it. It's not a favor either. Maybe, would you mind, um, would you mind getting something from the store for me? Would you mind getting something from the store for me? Especially in this scenario, right, this context that you don't go out so much. So, but hey, since you're going to go to the store, could you bring me something or would you mind getting something for me? This is a conjugation. Is it clear? Okay. And it can be like, would you mind cooking something for us? Yes, I like that favor. Mm -hmm. Totally. Would you mind cooking something for us? If you want to add, please, you can. Okay, so take notes of the conjugation. Now, we're going to forget about this for a moment, okay? And we're simply going to have a discussion. Look at this. Um, I'm going to send you an image right now. Check WhatsApp, please, everyone. Go to WhatsApp. Let me send you something. So you're going to see this. If you can see it, there it is. And I will show it to you here. I almost finished the meeting. <laughs> Going on. Stop sharing that. That is the option I need. Give me one second. I want to show you the image here on my computer. So you're going to see the following um, papers. The question you're going to discuss is what favors do you hate being asked? Or the question could be like, what are the three most annoying favors people ask for? I like this question better. What, and the same, right? What are the three annoying favors asked for? This is personally, all right? I want you to discuss this. So here are some ideas. First, I want you to discuss whether this is annoying or not and why. Do you hate being asked? to lend your car, you're gonna say yes, because this and that, right? Give your reasons, or I don't mind okay, driving someone to the airport because this and that. And I want you to discuss the top three most annoying favors. When we finish, we're gonna discuss as a group. Right now we'll do it in small group. Is that clear? So no conjugations right now, no writing, nothing, just discuss about annoying favors, okay? Let's do it. Ready? Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking.
for permission for use my car. And my sister went asked me permission for use my my clothes. <laughs> In my case, I am a teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. You... You... Try. Maybe... Drive well. back. <laughs> it's close to you. In my case, in, in my family, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, that's true. And Sonia, what about you? And I don't understand money. This. Which one? But And for me, for me, other uh, could be help me move into my new apartment. Most annoying, or at least less. Least it may help. Uh, to 11, 11 half and uh, I have in oh, I had a, a sleep I have a snowsy I have angry because I don't I don't uh, it's for yourself or, or which for is dangerous in the sound uh, it's, it's a dangerous sound and I am a, I am so uh, sad and do you have a pet? I only yes, have a tortoise. I, uh, I have two dogs. Two dogs. Yes. Wow. Another favorite. Children. I was monitoring you guys and some of your discussions. Okay, uh, we're gonna agree on, let me see, tonight I don't see Rui. We don't see you, Karina. There you are, Rui. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> Andrea Beltran, we don't see you. Jennifer Torres. Thank you guys, okay. Would you mind turning your cameras on? So we're gonna rate the top three most annoying favors. As per uh, intermediate two, okay? So decided by you. What are the top three, guys? Let's decide it as a class. Lending money. Lending money is number one. That is right. Ding, ding, ding. Lending money is the most annoying one. Number two. Top three, guys. Just stay at play. Staying uh, at your place and very good. And finally, to tell a liar. To tell a lie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will take that into account. But let me hear two other people. All right. I'm going to listen to two more opinions. Go ahead, tell me. Carol, that's. Taking care car. of pets, using the car. It use the car, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> yeah. vote. We need to solve this, hold on. Who votes? We're gonna choose number three, okay? So who votes that, uh, who votes for lending the car to be number three? Raise your hand. Lending the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like half the class. Okay, who would say, <laughs> who would say taking care of pets? No, not a lot of people, just one. Okay, or lending your personal stuff, like your clothes, your shoes. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's yeah. so annoying. <laughs> so that's going to be number three. Landing personal objects. Okay. Very good. Now, some favors that are not a problem for you. Tell me some examples. This is personal, so. Help to move the, an apartment on a house. Helping someone move. Very good, what else? That's it. Or when oh. you uh, give Maybe take someone care of rights. Uh huh. Giving so giving somebody. Uh huh. Somebody a ride. Some somebody a ride. Okay. Yes. You don't mind that, right? Very good. Now, what we're gonna do with this? I need eight examples, but please write them down. Everybody has to write them down because I'm gonna ask you at the end of the activity. Okay. Now I need you to conjugate. So you know how it's gonna go. For example, you're gonna have three options here. You can say with number one, can you, what is the conjugation with can in this favor, guys? Who? No, with can. Yeah. Or can you let um, me use your card? Let me use so with card. Could, you kill me. Would you let me use your card? Or would you let me use your card? So pay attention to the conjugation, right? The verb is going to be in the base form. And finally, would you mind letting me, letting me use your card? Perfect. Okay, so I want you to decide as a group what expression to use, okay? So I only need one example per each image. Is that clear? And everybody write them down, okay? We're gonna work with different people in groups of three. Any questions? We have to, we have to decide one question per, per, per option. We have, to, we have to write eight options. You have to write eight sentences, eight, uh, questions we can say they are requests actually uh -huh, so decide if you're gonna use can could would or would you mind and write it down okay but everybody write them down please so i need eight questions ready okay hold on yeah okay let's practice accept the invitation please practice the conjugation
is with code and with uh, wood. Okay. Yeah. Only one. Yeah. For example, lend me some money. I, I ask for lend me some money. On. <laughs> Daniel, also, I okay. don't, I forgot it. <laughs> 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 that when when she asked about the others uh, the other sentence, sentence. yes <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys finished yes teacher okay uh, we're gonna go back now then okay okay teacher finish to, to talk with Wendy. Sorry? Yeah. yeah. Didn't let you gossip. <laughs> no, we were talking about about the Wendy tell tell her. About sorry. We were, we were talking about, about the last course. The last course. Ah, okay. You sound very far away. I don't know who that is. It sounds as if you were in speakers. Okay, I'm going to call your name and you have to tell me the conjugation you wrote down. Please be prompt to unmute the microphone. Remember, if there, most of them are muted, okay? So, number one, Fer. Fer. Uh, for the first, we use can. Can you let, can you let me use your car? Okay, I de. I de. Okay, can you lend me uh, money? Okay, but drive me to the airport is the one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Can you let me, can you drive me to the airport? Okay. Who is that? Who's watching TV? Hold on. Oh, it goes like that. Next, let's see. Wendy Bolainez. Bolainez. Would you? Okay. Bolainez. Mm, okay. Would you lend me some money? All right. Next, uh, Olga Ramirez. Hold on. Uh, can, can you let me uh, your eye push? Your hairbrush. Hair hairbrush, brush, right. Hair. Daniel Cubillas. Come on, guys, let's do this okay. quickly. Will you take care of my pet while I am away? Very good. Nelson Grande. Mm, would, you, would you like help to move in the new apartment? Maybe would you help me? Would you mm. help me? Would you, would you help me move into the new apartment, my new apartment? Andrea Beltran. Can you take care of my children tonight? My children, all right. It's not here, but it's good. Lydia. <laughs> Quickly, guys, you're on mute. Can you let me borrow your homework? Good, Gabriel. You're on mute. Will you let me stay at your place for a while? All right, awesome job, guys. Thank you, very good. Now let's move on. We're gonna do uh, an exercise here on the platform. Give me one second. Okay, number one. We are gonna do this in groups actually. So everybody go to section 1.9, okay? And choose the, oh, don't look, oh my gosh. <laughs> that always happens. I have the answer. So section 1.9, do that in pairs, all right? I will give you four minutes to finish. 
So choose the correct option. Everybody access a platform, please. So that you know what you're doing. Everybody's looking at it. Ready? Ready, teacher. Good. I like that. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Pairs. Oh, okay. There it is. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. I don't have, I'm really sorry, I am busy. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll do I it right away. Way. The second mm, one. Sorry, I didn't read this. Or one. One. Eight point nine. One point nine. La segunda. Sería un placer hacerlo. Sí. Number four. De, de, yeah. Yes. Okay. Number one. I, think I don't know if it's only yes because I don't know if it's one. One Number one, answer. I think is uh, only, are you kidding? I don't have any Are you cash. kidding? Yes. Yeah. You was his boss, right? You, you was the boss uh, of the Miguel, Patricia. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, it's, it's a little complicated. Yes, it, <laughs> it, it, it's very well, uh, like a development. Did you get the correct answers? Yes, teacher. Are you finished? Yes. Yes, I'm Yay. finished. All right, good. Good job. So I noticed most of you already finished. Now we are going to work on section 1.11. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. I know. I'm going to take a picture right now because later I will forget. All right? I don't want to forget. So let me take two pictures. Hold on. Smile. Okay. One. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. And here's the other one. Smile. Thank you. There it is. Okay, what we're gonna do is this reading right here. That's you. I caught you off guard. That's it. So section 1.11, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna work in pairs and you will take turns reading. One person will read a paragraph, the other person will read the other one and so on. You're gonna take turns, read aloud, okay, in voz alta, aloud. When you finish reading, okay, write down new vocabulary, make sure you're using the correct pronunciation. When you finish reading, I would like you to answer the questions in pairs. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. First, practice your pronunciation. Okay, here we go. Uh, you will work in pairs. Give me one second. With somebody different. So, excellent thing, please. By the way, if nobody is with you, if nobody's working with you, let me know. I need to know. his car in front of your driveway. How things like this ever happen to you? If so, you may ask yourself. If you want, you can start. And please, um, okay, I read. The, the when you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain this situation and if you can think of a simple solution suggested. People don't, don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly a friendly word or say hello, but a lot of people have you, have you like this event happened to the your if so you may ask yourself who are the who are these people why are they all frustration and resentment you think maybe they like to okay resentment I think it's like in Spanish, basically, it's resentment. Three irritated. I don't know <laughs> how we can pronounce it. They have to fail. I think it's bother or annoying. Yes, that is it. And the first one, a way of behaving. Is a step taking in order to achieve something. 
Mm -hmm. and the first one is resentment. I think that it could be anger that grows over the time. I think. Anger that grows over the time. Mm -hmm. the tiempo, uh -huh. It could be. Yes, I think that this answer makes sense for the for the word. So, well, I think that we can. So for the deliberately. Uh, we finished. Okay, uh, did everybody finish? Yes? No. No. <laughs> Rita, no, are you called yes? No. You didn't even start. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. One is missing. I love that one. I won't forget. Just a reading, teacher. So, just a reading. Yeah, but somebody said they had finished. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Who finished everything? Raise your hand. I can see you. So raise your hand if you finished everything. Uh, Nothing. David and, David and Ligia, they finished everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. What are we gonna do then? I need you to finish this part so that we can continue the next, uh, next class. So David and Ligia, I will send you some questions to discuss, okay? And the rest of you can finish the activity because that's the last thing we're going to do tonight, okay? I don't know if you're going to be with the same person, though. Hold on. Yes, yes, you're going to be with the same person. So let's go back. Accept the invitation and finish. David and Ligia, give me one second, okay? Let's go. Accept the invitation, please. Ligia, accept the invitation, please. Olga, Vanessa. Hi, Olga. Hi, tell me what. <laughs> we are in the in the class. No, yes, yes, you are. You didn't get the invitation. Okay. Vanessa accepted. You're the only one now. <laughs> okay, no problem. I will send it to you again. Accept the invitation here. Um, answer is anger that grows over time. And me, in my opinion, resentment. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> uh, in my opinion, Puede ser
That was not the same person, was it? No, right? I think you were assigned with someone else. I don't know how it happened. Okay, you finished this time? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Awesome. All right, great. Let me see, is everybody back? Right. All right. Do you have any questions? At this time, no. No questions, all good? Which one? <laughs> yes, okay. No question, teacher. All righty. Well, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Remember, we have classes tomorrow, although it's Friday, okay? Same time, same okay. panel. Okay. Okay. okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a beautiful night. Okay, okay. see you tomorrow. Bye. You have a good Bye. night. Bye-bye. See you Monday. Bye -bye. See you Monday. Bye. Tomorrow. <laughs>